Hello guys, this is the lame airsofter. Other people might know me as the lame guitarist, but um, I'll just go by that name or whatever. I don't really care. But uh, this will be my first airsofting video on this chair channel. You guys might have seen my M4 on my f main channel, and I'll be doing stuff like that, including like internals and batteries and stuff. Like all this over here will be airsofting, and only airsofting. My main channel will be vlogs, and then Exotic Relapse will be gaming. So, if you guys want to kind of like spread out, that's fine. Um, but yeah. And then tell your friends about me too, because I like subscribers. Anyway, let's move on to the review. This gun is the WE High Kappa Tactical M1911. And first off, when you open up the box... Sorry, you're kind of close, but... Let me kind of back up. Alright, sorry about that. But um, when you open up the box, the first thing you get is this manual. Just the non WE 1911 manual telling you how to eject everything and all that crap. Uh, um, one second. Sorry, I was grabbing something. Yeah, but um. So, first thing out of the box, it has like this really nice fabric in it, which is really, really nice. I like it's kind of like really presentable, it looks kind of like a showroom gun type thing. You know, like if you opened it up and saw that, it would be pretty satisfying. First off, I saw one mag in here, I was thinking, alright, no, one mag, no big deal, every gun comes with a mag. And so, uh, put that aside. And then when I pulled the gun out of the box, it actually had another mag in it. Sorry about that. Oh my god, crap. But anyway, so, um, let's take the box out of there. But anyway, this gun comes with two magazines. Two. And I got it for $110 at Airsoft GI, like the actual store I went there and bought this. I got two magazines with this gun, which is amazing because one of these mags is 25 bucks a piece, like just for one of them. So if I wanted to get a third mag, it would cost me 30 bucks, pretty much, for shipping and all that. Anyway, um, on to the actual gun itself. This is the full gun. It's actually pretty, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Like, uh, yeah. But it has... It's a more modernized um, 1911. Uh, you might see the one like up there on the Black Ops on the Black Ops poster, and um, that's a uh, like an original 1911. And you can get those perfectly fine on like e-bike and stuff. And those ones are pretty cool too. But lately, I've been really into the whole modernized 1911 ones. But so there's they have like the white uh, white dots for the sights. A skeletonized trigger and to activate this gun for actual fire it was nice to see if you pull this nothing happens but you have to push down so you have to push that and that to actually squeeze the trigger so but it's really nice because you'll al almost automatically be doing that because like if you go to the gun like if you like have it with like a lo really loose grip which you shouldn't then you won't be able to fire but see a, a tight grip fire fine and this gun is a gas blowback, $110, like I said. So that means that it's green gas, it's full metal, full metal, and then hammer, and then locking slide. So this is a really, really, really nice gun. Even one of my friends who's been airsofting for a while, he has a couple pistols too, and he said that this is a really good gun for uh, just a hundred and ten bucks including two mags. It's a, it's a bargain. It's a bargain. And then um, also this is the safety right here. Right there. Oh yeah. Since it's green gas it does mean it's semi-automatic. So each time you squeeze and fire the side will fly back each time. Which is really amazing because it makes it really realistic. And it kicks really, really hard. Really hard. Like, I fired other um, gas blowback uh, pistols before, and it fi didn't fire nearly as hard as this. 
Like it was kind of like a little, um, like if you guys have ever shot a 22 rifle, probably around that, that, uh, maybe a little more, give or take, but whatever. So that's all of that on the M1911. Also, it's about 290 through 330 FPS. So it's, uh, just like perfect for indoor fields. You know, so, and it's a perfect sidearm. Like, I, I've already, I've shot it like once, but that was at the store because they didn't actually check it yet, so the guy let me shoot it at the range there, and so yeah, that was really nice. Really, really nice people at Airsoft GI. Anyway, in California, you should go and check them out. Yeah, so, that's the pistol. Get it, pick it up if you can. It's expensive, but I guarantee you won't need another sidearm, probably. I'm probably going to get another pistol just for, for, uh, just for kicks, you know. But other than that, it's very, very nice. Anyway, I have, uh, something else to review. Well, it's not really a review, but it's more of an opinion on something. Uh, green gas versus a propane adapter. Now, I vote propane adapter, uh, for a comparison on both of them. Because, uh, one, one thing, on uh, green gas has this little small nozzle right there, which is really, really small, and it's really, really crappy. Because, uh, you can see this is, like, extra long, and if you can kind of see that little silver spot down there in the ring, that's where you need to, um, actually, like, stick this down there, and then push down and fill it up with gas. You can't, I can't do that with, uh, this green gas thing, because I don't know what happened to it. Like, it's, like, too short or something. I don't know. Like, if you had, like, an M9 mag, probably, it would probably work fine. So, I'll probably keep this gas just for, like, an M9 if I get one. So, uh, but also, this is 15 bucks for a can of green gas. So, it's, like, 20 mag fills, I think I heard them say. 20 mag fills per uh, thing, per uh, can. And then, it's King Arm, so it's, like, it's, like, legit Airsoft brand. So, that's really good. Um, yeah, but this is basically all you do is you take a Coleman propane adapter, screw this on, and then I guess you need some silicone spray, which I didn't get, and then, um, I forgot that, but I should have gotten that, but, uh, the guy didn't say anything about it, so I don't think it was, it's that big of a deal. The only thing different between, uh, propane and green gas is, one, propane is like three bucks a Coleman can at, like, Walmart, and then you can get a bunch, and that's a lot more than this, it's probably like that much of a can, but it's like wider, it's like that, like that big, you know, you guys have probably been camping and stuff before, but, um, so it's a lot cheaper for, to pay $20, um, and then like an extra three bucks here and there for, uh, getting gas, so, in the end, it's really, really, really worth it to get a propane adapter. They can break, but oh well. I guess they break, like, a lot. I haven't heard of any breaking. I've heard of, like, one breaking. But, like, that's probably because they felt, like, retarded and, like, jamming and stuff. And then, like, getting pissed off and stuff. You know that. But, um, yeah, so that's that. And, um, also a quick thing about the company WE which is, uh, the brand of the pistol, I hear that their, la their, uh, mags leak a lot, so, but they might have fixed that problem, but, uh, so if you guys are, are picking up one of these pistols, you might want to call the store or the people that you're talking to and, uh, see if they have fixed their problem and if they can check if the mag is a little leaky. If so, then you probably shouldn't. Uh, I've already fired this, so it's, it, it works fine. It went through about half a mag in cold weather, which is, it's decent for green gas. Oh yeah, propane also works better in, um, it works better in, what is it, cold weather? That, like, lasts a little bit longer, because, um, he filled up with green gas, and at the range it was a little cold. So, um, I only went through about half the mag before he had to refill it with green gas for me. Um, so, propane, you'd probably be able to go through a full mag, which is really, really nice. And then also, um, I didn't know this at first, but, um, for people that are, like, new to gas guns, 
uh, gas will ruin your mag eventually if you keep it in there for like a couple days and like don't empty it and stuff. And uh, what is it? So it could really jack with your gun or your mag if you keep it in there. Like I know if like if you keep it in there for like a week, then your mag is jacked up, like for real. Because it's like basically just compressed air with like silicone spray in it. That's all get green gas is. But uh, anyway. That will be the end of my review for today. And I'm about to go make another review on probably another gun. So stay tuned for that. There will probably be like a caption like right there. If I remember to actually put it there. For the next video. If not then just go over there and it should be over there. Alright, this is the lame air softer or the lame guitarist and goodbye.